One of Kentuckyana's most horrific murders, a 12-year-old girl, Shanda Share, lured into a car and then murdered by a group of girls beaten, her body set on fire in 1992. One of the ringleaders now released from prison, only one other woman remains there. Our Holden Kerwicki joining us with the history of this awful case. I remember it well, Holden. You know, and this is a case that regardless if you're from here or not, it's really a story that generations of people around these parts right. really remember. And 26 years ago yesterday, 12-year-old Shanda Scherer was kidnapped, tortured, and killed by teens Tony Lawrence, Hope Rippey, Lori Taggett, and Melinda Lovelace because Lovelace had convinced the group that the 12-year-old Scherer was trying to steal her girlfriend. As Lori Taggett was released from prison today, we take a look back at how her parents have dealt with the loss of their daughter through the years. Please love your children. Please love every second you have with your children. Never think that they know you love them. Always tell them you love them. Always watch over them, make sure they're safe, know where they're at and who they're with, and never take them for granted. The 1992 murder of then 12-year-old Shanda Scherer is a moment that will stick with her mother, Jackie, for the rest of her life, as she told us at this 2009 memorial. She will always be that little girl, you know, that sweet child, because um, she was still just a baby. It's an image many in Kentucky and remember, young girls being walked into the courthouse in Madison, Indiana. One of those girls, now 43-year-old Lori Tackett, walked out of jail on the 26th anniversary of the murder. Through the years, Jackie and Chanda's father, Steve, told WHAS 11 they had trouble wrapping their heads around how four teens, ringleader Melinda Loveless, Tony Lawrence, and Hope Rippey, could commit such a savage act as kidnapping, torturing, and eventually killing their daughter. I can't see anybody doing what they did to another human being. It's just so far out in left field that it just doesn't make sense to do something that that terrible to another person. There are days when um, just, it, it just like is a knife that goes in my chest. I'll look at a picture and, and then I just have to start thinking pleasant thoughts. While three of her daughter's killers have now been released from prison, Jackie has told WHS 11 that she finds peace in the memories of her daughter. I know in my heart where she's at. I know she's with God and I know that she's fine. And I know that she'll never feel pain again and I know that I'll be with her again. And if she could tell her daughter one thing. I miss you. I miss you so much. Melinda Loveless is the only one of Shander's murderers who are still behind bars. She's scheduled to be released in September of 2019.